evening. Welcome to our November 2020 virtual awards ceremony, the first of its kind. So although it is an unusual format and it is um, just not half as exciting without having all the students and parents here to celebrate this together, it sure is nice that we have found a way to continue with our awards ceremony um, without having you know, people together in a room. So this is one for the books. People better save this ceremony so they can reflect on it in, in 20 years and, uh, and know that they were the first group that had a virtual awards ceremony. So we are going to start, um, we're going to start the ceremony with the Governor General's Academic Medal. And so this is a huge honor. The Governor General's uh, Academic Medal was awarded in 1873 by the Earl of Dufferin. And since then, it's become the most prestigious award that a Canadian um, institution, a person in a Canadian institution could receive. The medal is awarded to a grade 12 student who's earned the highest overall average during both their grade 11 and grade 12 years. Our winner at Sturgeon Composite High School for the Governor General Academic Medal is Joey Mahalchuk. I am proud to announce the recipient of the Sturgeon Rural Crime Watch Award. This award is presented to a student who is involved in the community and in volunteering. This award is annual and is staff nominated. This year's recipient is Owen Anderson. I have the privilege of presenting the Rotary Award of Merit. This is an award that recognizes a grade 11 and 12 student for services in his or her community and school throughout strong leadership and academic achievement. I've had the privilege of teaching this young man and he, it is most deserving. The winner is Jesse Serrani. Hello, my name is Mr. Spenroth. I'm here to present the Merit Construction Award to the most outstanding construction student in grade 12. Uh, this uh, gentleman exhibits good leadership skills, uh, works well with others, is cooperative, helps out in the shop, and is the go-to guy in the shop. Uh, this award is uh, given to us from the Merit Contracting uh, Contractors Association, um, and I would like to thank them for their contribution and this award will go to Brian Chatton. Hi, my name is Ms. Hiroku and I'm here to present the Amy Ference Memorial Award. Amy Ference was a special needs student with an infectious smile and amazing sense of humor who touched the lives of many staff and students. This award is offered in her memory and will be presented to a student who has continuous involvement in supporting people with disabilities. I'd like to give this award to McKenna Timmer. Hello, I'd like to present the Nothing But Success Scholarship. Uh, this scholarship is awarded to a student from our 2020 graduating class and pr it provides funds for tuition and books for a complete degree or diploma program. Uh, that the grade 12 student had to have at least 80% average and community involvement, leadership skills, and extracurricular activities. And I'm very pleased to announce that Joey Mahalchuk was selected for this uh, fantastic award. Hi, I'd like to present three of our music awards here at Sturgeon Composite High School. The first is titled Band Leader of Tomorrow. This award has been established to assist students who are pursuing music education at post-secondary and also who have been involved with uh, multiple ensembles and musical endeavors at Sturgeon Composite. This year's Band Leader of Tomorrow's recipient is Garrett Bittescombe. Next up is the Alice Klassen Memorial Scholarship Award. This scholarship was designed in the memory of Alice Klassen, who was the first executive member to establish the Music Parent Association here at Sturgeon Composite, SCAMPA. 
This award goes to a, a student who is pursuing post-secondary and has been a dedicated member in either choir, band, or guitar programs at Sturgeon Composite High School. This year's Alice Class Memorial Scholarship goes to Katie Lynn Gurdan. The last music award is entitled the Zach Drulet Memorial Scholarship. Um, this scholarship is in the memory of Zach Drulet, who was a former student at SCHS and was a dedicated and passionate student while he was actively involved with the music program. This award goes to a student that embodies the eagerness and participation in all endeavors in life and in music. The Zach Drulet Memorial Scholarship this year goes to Garrett Bittescombe. Hello, I would like to present the Maisie Metronick Scholarship from the Town of Gibbons. So this award is presented to a resident of the Town of Gibbons um, who in their grade 12 year achieved the highest academic average in a minimum of 25 credits at the 30 level. And I am proud to say that the winner of this award is Bobby LaPointe. Hello, it's my honor to present the Frank Robinson Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship was instituted to provide financial help to a graduating student who has enrolled in a post-secondary institution. This student is de deserving of this award because of her help and support of other students, her contribution to the development of a positive, harmonious atmosphere in the school, and her contribution to the development of strong school spirit. It's been a joy to watch this young lady grow up. It's my honor to present this award to Madeline Poole. Good evening, I'm Mr. Trent Anderson and I'm presenting the Dr. Darren Romanowski Award. Uh, this award is sponsored by Dr. Romanowski. It's presented to the student or students who've earned the highest Biology 30 final blended mark appearing on the student's official transcript from Alberta Education. We have four recipients this year who all tied. Those people are Bobby LaPointe, Sadie Sullivan, Julianne Rowe, and Bailey Mulligan. Hello, I'm here to present the Alexander Kyle Award for Citizenship. This award recognizes a student who displays leadership, generosity, and compassion. Considerations will be given to those who are good-hearted, work behind the scenes to make a difference, or have an outstanding contribution to their family, school, or community. The student will be recognized with a gift, a certificate, or, and their name engraved on a plaque. The recipient of this award is Anthony Pedergrachny. Hi, I'm Lucas Case, and I'm the welding teacher here at Sturgeon Compsett High School. The recipients of this award are students who have an exceptional attitude, a skill set, and will likely pursue a career in welding. This year's awards are sponsored by Lincoln Electric, Air Liquide, and many others, including myself. This year's award will go to Dylan Costu, a Welding 20, and Braden Hagen, in Welding 30. Thank you. Hello, I'm presenting the Phoenix Land Services Award. This award is presented to the student who achieved the highest Math 30-1 mark on their official transcript. Phoenix Land Services Award goes to Bobby LaPointe.
Hello, Mr. Spenrath here again. Uh, I'm here to introduce the Interpipeline Discovery Award. Uh, this uh, is a bursary to a high school student with financial needs that wishes to pursue post-secondary education. And the Interpipeline Award goes to Brogan Granger. Hello, I'd like to take this time to uh, thank Nameo Auto Repair for this award. It's their last year of the award. Um, for grade 10, it's Calum Herchuk. For grade uh, mechanics 20 is Ryan Melanchuk. And for mechanics 30 is Asphal Bushas. We also give out a Ken Massey Award. For Mechanics 30, it's Rod Martinez. For Mechanics 20, it's Dylan Koshu. And for Mechanics 10, is Chase Bodez. Hello, I'm Mr. Percy, and I'm presenting the Shane Rogers Memorial Award. This award is presented in memory of Shane Rogers. <clears throat> the recipient of this award is a student, was a student of Sturgeon Composite High, who also excels at math. This memorial award has been donated by the Rogers family. The recipient of the award this year is Bobby LaPointe. Hello, I'm here to present the dual credit post-secondary scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to a grade 11 or 12 student with the highest academic average between psychology 1040 and 1050 combined. The recipient of this award is Aria Mahal. In addition, here's the acknowledgement of our RAP scholarships. The RAP Scholarship is designed to recognize the accomplishments of Alberta high school students in the Registered Apprenticeship Program and to ensure these students continue to complete their apprenticeship training. Congratulations to Brody Allison, Simon Cloutier, Braden Gerlinski, Jackson Land, Dalton Lawrence, Garrett Lawrence, Colby Sutart, and Joshua Spiker. Good evening. The Xerox Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to one Sturgeon Compsett High School student and one Redwater School graduate who has demonstrated exemplary work habits and has an interest in technology and advancing technology in their education. This student will also be pursuing a post-secondary education in the school year following their graduation from high school. This year, the recipient is Daniel Haig. I am very, very excited to be able to announce the um, Alberta Teachers Association Academic Award winner and the student that is qualifying and winning for this local award is Joy Mahalchuk. Congratulations. I'm also um, 
honored, really, to be able to talk about our Sturgeon Public School Division Academic Awards. So our school division also celebrates the students in our school who have the highest mark in each grade. And so I just want to send a huge congratulations to Olivia Babin in grade 10, Brian Chatton, grade 11, Joy Mahalchuk, grade 12. I'm very pleased to present the Sturgeon School Division Bursary. Sturgeon Public School Division awards two bursaries per year, one to a graduate from Redwater and one to a graduate from Sturgeon Composite High School. Factors taken into consideration are the level of students' achievement and effort, the students' participation in co- and extracurricular activities, both school and community, and other bursaries or scholarships for which the student may be eligible. It's my pleasure to present this award to Darcy and Offerchuk. In addition, I'd also like to present the Sturgeon School Division Scholarships. These scholarships are awarded to those students who achieved an 80% average or above in a minimum of 25 credits at the 30 level, five of which must be in English. The student must be enrolled in a course of studies at a recognized post-secondary institution or be enrolled in an apprenticeship program within 15 months of high school graduation. It's my pleasure to present these awards and the names will follow now. for attending our virtual award ceremony here at Sturgeon Composite High School. We are very proud of our students and all of their efforts. We want to thank our families for supporting them throughout their educational careers. Thank you again to our staff and thank you very much to our sponsors for making this possible. Best of luck to all of our students. <laughs>